Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to replace a fluorescent tube. First thing you must do is make sure that the light switch is off and make sure you've got something sturdy to stand on like this step ladder. This particular fluorescent tube has got a cover on it so to remove the cover on this one you gently pull back the clip at the back and then lower the cover. Make sure you get a good hold on that cover and it should just drop out. Apologies for the dirt, this kitchen is being refurbished. That's the first part done. And if you're going to be replacing the fluorescent tube, it's a good idea to replace the starter at the same time. There's a link above now about how to do that. There are two different fitting types on some of them. What you will do is you will get hold of the fluorescent tube and twist it anti-clockwise until the pins line up with this gap here. You might have a gap there and then the fluorescent tube will just slide out of the gap. But on this particular one, you're literally just pushing the cover back and then lowering the fluorescent tube. So get a good grip on the fluorescent tube, push that end clip back and then lower the fluorescent tube. If you're going to be replacing the fluorescent tube, make sure you make a note of the particular model number of the fluorescent tube. This one here is a T8. So when you buy your new fluorescent tube, make sure it's the same model and the same length. The end cap on this particular one has fallen off, but that just clips back into those metal wires. Then take your new fluorescent tube. And then what you do is you line it up with the pins at one end and push, push the pins in at one end. Then at the other end where you're standing, push the end clip away from you and then slide the fluorescent tube upwards until those pins lock into those holes. As I mentioned earlier, if you've got the twist version, you would slide it up on the pins and then twist it clockwise to lock it in. But on this one, you just slide in. Let's just test out that fluorescent tube, make sure it's all working. Fabulous. And to put the cover back on on this one, again, you're just pushing the end clips away from you. They're just on a slight kind of spring. And then move over to the other end of the fluorescent light. And just push that into place. Now this whole light unit is going to be coming out anyway because this room is going to be refurbished. If you're going to be watching any of my how-to videos, make sure you have a lovely cup of tea. Definitely helps with your work. I hope you found that useful. Up on this side, there's a link on how to change the starter on your fluorescent tube light. And over on this side, there's a link on what to do if your curtains are sticking on the curtain rails. That's a really top tip. Thanks for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.